Hello everybody, Crypto Chaperone here, and I am sure you know why I'm making this video right now. If you have been paying any attention to Bitcoin or cryptocurrency or anything lately, you have heard that Bitcoin has been added to the Chicago Mercantile Exchange. They're making a huge impact on the Wall Street Stock Exchange, and they're definitely bringing Bitcoin into the big money now. And you can definitely see that Bitcoin is surging in price. It is up to over $6,900. We're going to see $7,000 soon in Bitcoin. And as soon as we hit 7000 I think we're going to start to see 10000 right after that. Potentially even in this year, 2017. Definitely some big things for Bitcoin, for Ethereum, for every cryptocurrency that's out there right now. Because all this money that is exchanging in wall street and all that they are now going to have the ability to invest in bitcoin and if you know anything bitcoin is the king currency it is the currency that you need to invest in all these other cryptocurrencies if you have bitcoin you can buy ethereum you can buy ripple you can buy omc go you can buy whatever you want so by these people holding bitcoin i don't know if they're going to potentially have them in their own wallet or they're just going to have them in stocks and they're going to have shares potentially with maybe the sh exchange holding their coins but if they can withdraw their own coins and they're going to have these coins in their possession there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to be exploring into this whole cryptocurrency market as you can see bitcoin dominance is surging through the roof at 61.4 percent some of our highest this is actually the highest percent has been since back in like i think like january february when bitcoin dipped off when ethereum started taking off uh, we're setting new grounds, new all-time highs for Bitcoin and for the market cap of cryptos in general every day. Our market cap is now at $187 billion. We're up over, I think, like 15 times um, like what this year started out to be, something around there. And I think at the end of this year, I've said it once, and I, I think we might hit a quarter of a trillion dollar market cap before the end of 2017. Um, especially with this huge news that it is Bitcoin is now being on a futures market. Um, it's kind of, it's funny now, like right after Warren Buffett kind of doubles down on this Bitcoin bubble that it does get it uh, released on a futures market, which kind of does kind of help the bubble scenario because it could inflate and eventually I think Bitcoin could crash down maybe a little bit, but in a world that is trying to grow into um like an electronic into technology into just everything being related to electronics and being on your computer why would we veer away from cryptocurrencies and online technological currencies and stuff like this there's no reason why we wouldn't if we're going in a advanced technological direction in the world that we live in why would we not adopt this advanced technological currency it's like we're not going to veer around this because it's in the middle of the road. We're going to pick this up and we're going to run with it. And this is a great opportunity for anybody who holds Bitcoin. You just have to realize that this top 1% of the world is going to now want to hold this great asset. And they're going to have to purchase it from you. So you get to dictate what the price is on that. If you don't want to sell that for less than $20,000, don't do it. And that's what I think the greatest thing of uh, these cryptocurrencies is, is you have this thing now that everybody is going to want. And I hear it time and time again, and I can't agree with it more, that this is going to be one of the greatest times of just wealth transi transitioning and wealth accumulation that we will ever see in our lives. You have people that may have put $100 into this, a few years ago who could potentially be seeing millions and millions of dollars um, in the future just by holding on to this, just by something that meant nothing. And the more that this goes on, the more you're going to kind of hear these people come out of the woodwork about how they lost maybe 10 or 20 Bitcoins at one point or some small amount that maybe equaled maybe two or three hundred dollars, maybe a thousand dollars two or three years ago. But as time goes on and Bitcoin amasses such high levels of um, pricing with it, these losses just become bigger and bigger. I just read a story today about someone who lost like 7.4 Bitcoins and they didn't lose them. They had them in their treasure wallet, their treasure wallet. 
and they forgot their pin and they couldn't really recover their pin and they had to go through all this stuff and they were trying to figure this out I think for over the course of like five or six months and as they posted their updates they also posted how much Bitcoin was worth and it went from being worth like fifteen hundred dollars when they first had it to being worth like forty thousand dollars like I, as it grows up now it's like f almost fifty thousand it's over fifty thousand dollars if they still have it at this point so that's crazy to think about like people who have lost bitcoins or people who have just taken neglect to what uh, to ownership of their wallets or their private keys or anything and now they're probably definitely regretting that and I just think as this space grows, anybody who has Bitcoin, anybody who partakes in the cryptocurrency space, you are going to have a great chance to amass some wealth here in the future. As you can see, just as Bitcoin grows, all cryptocurrencies or altcoins, I mean, are pretty much dipping. Uh, very small top of the chart gains. We have like a 36% in the top 100. That's not big. Just a handful of this also did just reset a few hours ago, so I can't really judge any of these, I guess. But we don't really have any major gains, but we do have some major losses. Um, a lot of people are just wanting to get into this whole Bitcoin just skyrocket now. You have some of the biggest news Bitcoin has ever had, the fact that it is going to be traded on a futures market. I mean, I can't say it enough. This is just the biggest thing that could happen to cryptocurrency and I mean, I'm kind of wishing like some I, if I had enough money, I mean, I, I, I wish like Roger Veer, someone would call out Warren Buffett and just have like a cryptocurrency versus Wall Street like bet, like let's have something big, a few million dollar bet, like what's going to win? What is going to be the king here? Do you think Bitcoin is going to go to a certain price? Um, Obviously, I mean, it's going to go down from something, but what would Warren Buffett willingly bet that Bitcoin won't go over? And I'm sure that there would be a lot of, we should just amass one big wallet and just take out Warren Buffett. But now nah, let's, everything you got Warren Buffett, cryptocurrency, we're betting it against you. Put it all in, all in right now. Um, No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, I mean, I just don't think he understands anything about cryptocurrencies or Bitcoin or anything. And maybe now that it is going into the Wall Street um, area, and maybe he'll actually look at it now. I doubt it because he's more of an asset trader. And this isn't really something that has any sort of an asset value in his eyes. But I mean, as you look around, you use a digital phone, you stop trading stocks on slips of paper, and you do it all through a computer now, why would we keep carrying around cash for the next 50 or 100 years? If anything, we're going to use gold, silver, precious metals, or we're going to go into this new era of technological currencies. People who don't want to understand this just aren't going to understand this. They're going to, their thick skulls are going to just bounce this information off. Other than that, I mean, if you do want to enjoy this great chance to build up wealth. I mean, you could put potentially $2,000 in Bitcoin now or a different cryptocurrency. And I think Bitcoin is probably one of the most solid things. If you're not really someone who wants to day trade and be like uh, someone who wants to be checking your investments at all the time, um, Bitcoin is definitely the investment you want to make because it is the solid coin that is going to come out on top. But as more money comes into Bitcoin, more of these alternate currencies are going to be found and looked at and just a lot of money is going to go into these. And as a lot of money starts going into these, they're going to see the volatility of these coins. You're going to have people who have millions of dollars start pumping these markets and they're going to go up hundreds, hundreds of percent in a day. And if you work at the right time, you're going to be able to pull your money out because this is going to be so much money coming into these markets that it's not going to be these twenty, thirty thousand dollars, twenty four hour market caps on these coins. You're going to have hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollar market caps, possibly even in the low million dollar market caps on these coins, and you're going to have a chance to get your money back out. And if you hold on to some of these coins, you're going to have people with big money who are going to be buying these coins off of you for definitely a pumped rate of what you paid for them. And you could partake in possibly some more larger pumps that happen in the future. I'm sure. After uh, Wall Street and everything starts looking into these cryptocurrencies and noticing the volatility and how much they have pumped, they're definitely going to be taking advantage of that in the upcoming months. 
before any of this starts getting regulated. Um, and that's also something else that you have to think about is how long now since Wall Street has stepped into this, how long is it going to be before cryptocurrencies start getting regulated and we start seeing more governments step in and trying to tell people what they can and can't do and how they can and can't purchase their cryptocurrencies. I, I just read an article today, speaking of governments, but police aren't really a government, but they work for the government, that there is an actual Alabama police force who has started mining Bitcoin and they are mining these Bitcoin in hopes to try to crack down on darknet um, transactions, I guess. And the only thing I can think they're going to do with that is maybe just order packages from the dark web and get them sent to their town and trace the addresses and see if any other packages come from those same addresses. I can't really imagine what they're going to do. But in the article I read, they also talked about how they're not going to buy Bitcoins because they want to make sure they're clean and not have already been used for um, dirty transactions like laundering or drug purchases. And they also want to mine these because they don't want to use taxpayers' money on buying Bitcoins. But to mine Bitcoins, you also have to use electricity. And they apparently only had one computer or something they were going to mine on. So I'm not really sure how efficient that's going to be. Maybe they'll be able to buy... Um, if you get your Bitcoins in now, maybe if it goes up five or ten times, you'll be able to buy a, a gram of wheat or something someday. So you'll be able to definitely patrol the streets in that aspect. But, um, I mean, I can't really like commend them on that. Def I can commend them on the fact that they're trying to get into this cryptocurrency, but they're definitely not doing it on the right way. But other than that, just as you see this, you're going to see a lot more people, governments, uh, bigger powers, powers that were stepping against cryptocurrencies and everything cryptocurrency stood for. You're going to see these people start to really step into the cryptocurrency space and take a look at it now because you have all these people who i mean if you invest in cryptocurrencies and you're a cryptocurrency nut and stuff people on the outside they kind of look in on you and they're like you're not really the brightest bulb it's kind of weird when those people look in and all these dim bulbs are making a ton of money and they're not really understanding why so eventually all these dim bulbs are going to kind of we're going to rub on to these outside looking entities and maybe we'll light them up at some point, even if it's just a little bit of a shimmer. Um, I'm sure us dim bulbs can help to enlighten some people, even if you are uh, against being enlightened. Eventually, you're going to want to step into the cryptocurrency space just because you see its value, its potential. Even if you don't see any value or potential, you're seeing other people around you who are taking advantage of it around and just buying and selling and even if they're just putting some into it and just adding it to their portfolio of whatever they own if you were ever interested in stocks for any reason this is kind of why i also got into cryptocurrencies because i was always into stocks at, at a young age i was into the stock market and just what the stock market stood for and all that and cryptocurrencies is kind of an internet stocks is kind of that's how i explain it to people who have never heard of a cryptocurrency it's kind of you have a company who gives out these coins which would be like kind of a stock and they're building up capital and funding for their company and as the company grows in value these coins grow in value and that's pretty much the easiest way i can explain it to people like an older generation who have never heard about bitcoin or cryptocurrencies that's pretty much my way of going to explain it um, in a layman's terms and if you can gain their attention with that most of the time I have people that keep asking me what was that what was that word that that crypto word again that I'm supposed to look into so it's definitely pretty interesting um, as time goes on more people are getting interested in this more governments more big money is getting interested in this and we're definitely going to see this space grow it's something that uh I'm lucky enough to be a part of, and if you're watching my videos, hopefully you're lucky enough to be a part of too, and it's just something we're all lucky enough to be a part of together, I guess. Um, so that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, I Pretty much just a rambling, random rambling video. Uh, I'm working on some ICO reviews still. I know I've been talking about that for a while, but I like to read through my ICO white papers at least two or three times. And then I like to ask questions to any of the developers in the ICO to make sure that I do understand it to the fullest before I try to explain it. 
and just have all my questions sorted out so I'm kind of not questioning what I'm saying while I'm saying it. So that's kind of why my ICO um, reviews have been taking a little bit more time than I have initially been planning. But other than that, guys, all I can say is to go out and look at more great crypto YouTubers, learn as much as you can about this ever-growing space, and invest wisely. Don't sell when your uh, coins are down, especially in times like this when you're seeing all this money coming in. Yes, you might be feeling your portfolio go down, but all this money is going to eventually spread out because Bitcoin isn't going to go up forever. It's going to plateau. It's going to start to slightly dip. And this big money isn't going to know what to do. And it's going to go, oh my, we're down 5%. I don't think my stocks would have did that today. Let's go try something else. And it's going to shift and move around. So you're going to see so much more volatility than what we've already seen. And the volatility is just going to be in mass 24-hour volumes. And it's just going to be a crazy world. So you guys are going to have to just learn to get those hands strong, get some stress balls, get some of those weight thingies that you squeeze and get those forearms going. You're going to have to get some stronger hands. We're going to work on some strong hands videos. Every one of these videos before I start, we're going to do some hand exercises so we don't sell our coins at low prices. Other than that, guys, have a great day and enjoy, enjoy this growth in your cryptocurrencies. I'll see you tomorrow.